We ended up at home getting loaded because we went to he went we both went to the liquor store and stole a couple forty ounces. So your initial impression of him pretty much you got along with him right off the hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my family kept trying to pay me thousands of dollars to beat him up because he's going out with one of my cousins. And I never ever took it because I thought he was a decent guy. What are some of the things that he's grown to become since you knew him when he was around 11 until now being 24? Well, he grew up. He's got a backbone now. Like, he ain't scared of every little thing. I wish he'd get a little bit more, like, you know, more of a backbone because he's kind of still nervous about shit. He's getting good at spitting, you know. He's, he's actually putting his past life and his life situations into his words, right? And he's kind of getting smarter, trying to stay away from the bay and shit, trying to stay out of trouble. Back in the day, he wanted to be in trouble. That's all he wanted to do was get the cops to arrest him and shit. And now he's getting smarter, trying to stay away, right? Right. So the last question I wanted to ask you was, he's been out now for around four months or so. When, will, when do you figure he'll next be in there? I don't know, man. I think he's going to be... Out the longest this time, but I still think he's got another t bit to do. I bet, matter, maybe, I bet you he'll go to jail one or two more times before he's done. But he's almost matured to the point now where it's not going to happen, right? Just bitch niggas keep fucking around in this place, right? And they keep starting with him and on his backup. That's why it nothing happened lately, because they ain't jumping out of the car when I'm there. I'll jump on their fucking heads, right? That's Everybody knows that he's on bad probation, right? So they'll start with him to get into a fight, knowing when the cops come, they're throwing him in the jail, and they're giving the other guy a warning. So basically, the people that don't like him keep trying to set him up. You know what I mean? Yeah. He gets set up everywhere he goes, and I'm, I'm the only guy well besides you guys, right? So if you could give him any bit of advice when this documentary was done to see it, what would it be for him to try to stay at a jail right. and clean his life up a bit? Well, first of all, stay out of jail. He's got to stay away from that Amanda, his girl, because she always she'll call the cops on him every second day. And my advice on him rapping is being himself, keeping it more real. He's trying to, he, he, he loves a few rappers and he takes a lot of their characteristics and stuff and puts them into his shit. And he should just be more real, rap more about his life, not about shooting people in the head, not about doing that, not about fucking power, because it never happened. Rap about him getting through life, him being in jail, how he got out, how his parents, how he hurt his parents, how he did this, how he did that. He's got to be more real to himself, because he ain't fooling over, not us, we know him. You know what I mean? He, he ain't fooling nobody. He's you know, gonna take this and say, I still don't give a fuck. Cut it off. Uh, Cut it off. Uh, Charger down, I'm trying to change my life and stuff a little bit for the better. I want younger fellas and teach my kids the way we grew up with boys. Oh, dog, where you stole that too? But. The thing is, he wrecked, he stole the way I grew up, I did the damage to my own self, and I was stupid, and I didn't think about the long-term consequences when I got older. That don't sound like menace inside, where buddy goes to visit his buddy's father. Nigga! Hey, we saw, we saw the one of them today. The MILF. <laughs> oh, no, was it? Uh, no, it was on call for the bitch looked like my grandmother. She was about 46. <laughs> no I let her cares. suck it. She was gross. <laughs> he came home with an all bad turtle toes and another bitch. Yeah, and then I kicked them all out halfway through a blowjob. I said, get off, get fucking your shoes on and get the fuck out of my house. Kicked her right out, fucking 4.31. Get out of my house. Oh, oh, how am I going to get home? That sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> what did you do with this kid of BJ? No, half a BJ, and then I realized how disgusting she was, and I said, get the fuck out of my house. I got this bitch bent over the swings of the playground. My homies around, coming around. <laughs> We got some headphones with the mic on and shit. Hi, fi Where'd you get that at? Huh? Sound effects hit. Gia. I need some paper. Here, Tommy, Xbox, new one box with NHL 2004, one in promotion, $200. Yes! Fuck off, it's in TV. Let me get one. <laughs> Breaking the weed up, nigga. Breaking the weed up, nigga. What, nigga? Yeah, we are. Just wait. He'll be over there flipping over there. Let me doctor. Picture me rattling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah,
I'm gonna get her to bite your ass, Murph, you fucking bitch. Ha <laughs> ha, you fucking little rat cocksucker. Fuck you, nigga. The payback's a bitch on your ass, cause I'm fucking gonna fuck you up. Yeah. Time ago, when I was young little nigga, fucking running around in high school, fucking wads of cash, no dad, just fifties, no hundreds, nigga. Get up, nigga! You nigga here. What's that, Reds? These pinks. They're pinks, nigga. They mellow you. Yeah. Like a val, they're like half a valium. So two of them are like a valium ten. You got, you want any right now? Go yeah, 50. 50. Couple. <laughs> uh, I was paring down body of mine, so it was me. We having a couple of drinks, fucking taking a couple of pills and shit, and fucking shooting it. And fucking went up my bitch's house, man. Fucking used the phone, man. Fucking I went around the fucking doors and the windows were locked, so I said, fuck this, man. I'll walk up here. I'll fuck for nothing. You know what I mean? So fuck, man. Just walked up, went in the back window, snuck in like a fucking ghost, you know what I'm saying? Never heard shit. Get in there, she wakes up, man. I tell her, I gotta use the phone. Bitch flips out, man. She fucking flipped, man. I said, fuck you. I said, I'm just using the phone and fucking leave, right? That's all I'm doing. I'm just using the phone. Fuck, don't flip. So I used the phone, left, man. Fucking next day, fucking bitch calls the cops on me and told her I broke in her house, man. Do you know right now what the charges would be? Like, uh, you'd probably break and enter, fucking couple breaches. Uh, I can see that you have the windows there. They're pretty much covered up so that when the lights on, can't see cops outside, can't see from outside. But pretty much the rest of the house is in darkness in there. And, uh, are you, do you, are you, do you regret it? I mean, the other day we were shooting this documentary and we started to shoot it with the concept of a man who had a troubled life in and out of jail pretty much every year, going in, going out. And the basic concept for the documentary was how long can you stay out and can you change your life around? Now this pretty much is done at 180 and you're going back. What do you have any regrets or what do you think about it? Me, I'm just going to lay low, let it blow over for a fucking couple of days, maybe a week or two. Get hooked up with a job and shit, fucking start writing and shit. Fucking just laying low, fucking leave that bitch alone. I can get fucking any woman I fucking want, really. Not any woman, but you know what I'm saying, I can get 20 times better than her, so fuck that. I just told her, I said, listen, bitch. You're gonna fuck ruin my life, send me in as institutions. I'll be institutionalized by the time of 30. Fuck that shit, man. And I'm just gonna to try to stay in jail as long as I can. And fucking, if I gotta go back, I gotta go back for a couple of months, but or maybe three or four years, but I'll be able to on a parole. Yeah, I'd, I'd say I'll give it three, four years, man, but I'll be fucking able to on a parole, man. So, like, I don't think, I don't even think the motherfuckers can catch me, man, because them motherfuckers can't see me. They can't catch me, man. They can't catch me. They don't but catch they will. me. They will, catch, they will catch me if I allow them to catch me. But they, they will catch you, though. They will catch you. That's the thing. Yeah, Basically, I, you never know when they catch you. This could be the last time I may see you for a few years right here. That's why I'm trying to get the whole project was to stay out of jail for the longest amount of time. Yeah. Well, my question is, why did you go in the window knowing... If you were to be cast, well, this is what would happen. What made you still decide to go in? Because I'm kind of fucking, like, I didn't even, you know, I was like, I thought I could get in the window. She'd fucking holler for a bit and shit, and then she'd let it go, right? But the bitch ratted on me, right, man, so I'm going to have to fucking suck it up. I got to try to get fucking, I got to try to get fucking the heat blown off me and shit to the point that to the fact where when they do catch me if it would be a couple of fucking months down the road they'd be saying oh he got in trouble this first couple of months but we never ever got a hold of him and shit and I said well fucking if I stay out for a couple of months and they can't get me when I do get me and get me in the court man you know what I can play the judge I can play the prosecutor I can say listen fuck you guys I got a job I'm holding down a job 
I'm fucking in school and college, fucking doing my thing. I got my own apartment and shit. I got, I'm laying it down, you know what I mean? I'm fucking writing, staying in every night, fucking smoking bud, getting blunt and shit, having a drink, smoking and writing my rhymes, man. And fucking, one of these days I'm gonna blow up, man. It's gonna be fucking, it's gonna be awesome. Well, if this has happened, I guess the documentary is gonna have to be how long until you're caught. So basically, what I plan on doing is taping you. Uh, catch me, motherfucker. But you never know. I mean, you know what I'm telling you? They, they, they can get you if they want to get you. But me, life can turn on you on a dime like that, man. You never know what tomorrow brings. So you just gotta fucking take it as it comes. Fuck the world, man. But on the other hand, you don't want to be fucking labeled as a menace. Cause it's fucking shitty, man. Everybody's on your back. Everybody's able to get you. They got you nervous. They got you peeking. They got you looking over your shoulder, man. But the only thing is, you got the only one thing you got to count on is yourself. You can't be a young little motherfucker forever, man. You gotta grow up someday, man. And fucking. What's that? We reserve, reserve minds. We are the best, the best, the best, the best, the best. We will. What are you doing here today? Just getting buzzed. Smoking. What have you been up to lately? I don't know. Just going to college. What school are you going to? I'm going to Cambridge. What are you taking? Oral burner mechanic. We're up for school and shit, man. What's your book, is it? Mm -hmm. What's the course? Oil... What's that? Burning shit. Oil burning what? Residential oil burner mechanics. And your scribbler? Yeah, 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 just wait. We got some room. How were you learning today and shit, did How much work did you do today? The page, eh? And what do you got? New book? New books? Yeah, they're for my fucking workshop books, man. So that's a pretty positive note you got going there. You kind of brought your life to... Mad cash involved! <laughs> Can I borrow your fucking shit from the world? Man, yeah, fuck no. If you don't play that game... Why? Well, I like it, man. No, well, I, I don't like games. Yeah. Well, I'll, no, I'll play it later. My God, I'll play... I want to play Donkey Kong 64. We'll go get it. We'll get it. Well, bring Mortal Kombat over so I can no, play it later. No. Uh, World combat in retirement. <laughs> I fucking hate Quachi wins. That's because I fucking rule. Because it's from the fucking, fucking same fantasy move for everybody, but it's different. Yeah, but I. <laughs> yeah, well. Up, up, down. It's so hard. A little monkey. Four back there and up. See, see what I mean? Give <laughs> a bucket of banana when he gets it right here. Oh, it's Johnny Cage's finisher. Fuck. Crouching wings. You want to see when I buckle, boy, the other night at the sandbar. Oh, Blair Fortune got knocked out. Hurt. Hurt. How did it happen? Oh, he gave me the shoulder block in the shoulder when I was on the way. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? He said, what? I said, you better watch or you're fucking, and I fucking nailed him. Hit him like Jada. Just like that. Boom! <laughs> Drove him out the fucking door. One shot, man. And he was fucking, boom, laid. Nah, and then I ran over to him, we were wrestling on the ground for a few minutes, right? And then I got on and the last shot I hit him with, man, I hit him right here and the fucking right in the lips and the chin and just fucking boom. And then Earl started flipping, saying, get the fuck out of my fucking lot! pictures are red. All right. Can I just get a little bit of... Information on how he's met? Oh, fuck, man, fuck. Me and my boys were at a fucking... St. Mike's dance, man. Fucking kicking it in junior high, man. Fucking... Just met up a party afterwards, man. Fucking, we met, we hooked up. Went out for a couple nights, then fuck. I fucked her. And then fucking... Went from there, man. And... And then you had a child at, what age were you? 19? 19. There are my two angels right there on my shoulders, each shoulder. 
They brought me at the gutter, me. They're the angel of the world. Okay, and how old were you when you had the second child with her? I was 20. And having a child with her, did that um, bring you guys any closer together? No, man, the bitch fucking flipped, man. She went nuts after she had the fucking kid, man. Fuck, she went nuts, man. So basically, she changed from having the... Before yeah. she had the kid, you actually liked her? Yeah, she was all right, man. And then after she had the kid, she changed for the worse. Psycho fucking jicky the nutcase. So, it was after the first child she changed. Uh, can you let me know what were some of the changes that you noticed in her after you had the kid? Oh, fuck, man. She got fucking fatter, man. She fucking turned into this fucking un-fucking earthly bitch. Man, I'm telling you, she fucking turned into this big fucking rat, man. Always stabbed me in the back. Throwing me in jail every chance she got, man. Calling the fine ball on me, man. Fuck playing head games, man. And I just said, hey, fuck it. I said, the hell with it. And admit that having a second child with her, did that make any much more of a difference? Did she change any more for the worse? Get no, better or started, just stay neutral? She started getting better for a little bit, and then she fucking went right back to fucking being a fucking psycho, man. So how long were you with her now? Nine years, man. Nine years. Yeah. And you pretty much do see her every time you get out of jail and you do go together, but yeah. it usually turns into... It usually turns into fucking me going back to fucking jail. You should be more yourself. That's all. You're not hard. What's the fuck? The only thing hard on you is your attitude. Go around like I know you pop. What? I know different. You know different, do you? I don't know one fucking guy you ever fought and beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never seen you fight anybody. Well, yeah, I didn't, did I? Meet JJ McDonald. You didn't, fucking pale. You didn't pale shit. You ran like a bitch into Grace Bay video. You didn't? Man, I don't even want to fucking talk. You didn't? Anymore. I'll just fucking leave. Fucking you didn't? Shit. Ain't Good. Fucking... Get the fuck out of the house. I hate you. Everything you claim here has been everywhere. All right, good enough, mate. I'll pack my shit, I'll be gone, but that's good. Fuck, I didn't do nothing with me. Yeah, you've been trying to eat all over me, man. Yeah. All over me. I can't shit without the cops telling me what color it is. So all you ever do is run, 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 run. And I'm fucking fed up here. What, you ask me not a friend, Jay? Fuck. Yeah, Roddy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, pick me up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, man, just come out here right away. Right here. Okay, I got three warrants of my arrest, right? Yeah. Three warrants. Failure to appear, failure to appear on a soft tag school. That means Cops grab me, I'm off to the county for two or three months. I don't care, right? I'm off to the county for two or three months and cops grab me, right? I get in the apartment next to me, because I like him, trying to help him out. Now he's got the cops all over this house, and I can't fucking move, and I didn't even do nothing. And he don't fucking get it. The only thing you care about is yourself. Dig your hole deeper and see what happens, man. You don't understand. I told you I got warrants for my arrest. And then you get the cops out over here. What was your word? My word, Tom, I won't get the cops here. The fuck? I come home, get off the bus the other day, man. There's three cop cars here. I gotta I gotta hide in the woods like a bitch because he got out he got warrant. He got me a job. And you don't get it. If you have warrants out for your arrest and you moved in next to me, you think I'd be bringing the cops here, Jake? But no, all you care about is yourself, no. Good. Go to member two. No, go to my uncle's. You'll be here in like 10 minutes. Good. You don't even fucking get it, bro. Not at all. Who does? I'm 
I don't give a fuck. You think I'm worried about it? I'll break your face right now and let him explain it. You get me fucking going and you're not going to be able to come with him. I can't even go inside, Jay, but ah. Fuck. That's how it is, man. You know I got warrants. You better talk everywhere to that fucking ugly bitch, Amanda. Why didn't you just shake your head and say, forget her and not do this? All I try to do is help you, and now look what, you know what I mean? When you move, I gotta move. You know what I mean? You remember me, you promised me there'd be no heat, eh? You did. I know you didn't mean for it to happen, but you're a good guy. Why, what the fuck is that, fudge? Yeah. Oh, nigga. It ain't fudge, it looks like chocolate bunny. Fudge, man. I'm not trying to be an asshole, buddy, but remember the, the promises you made? Tommy, I'm moving up there to start a new life. I don't want the cops in my life. Blah, blah, blah. And it's funny, this shit's all about what? You went to use a man's phone. Yeah. You know, if I was a girl, I'd knock her fucking teeth out. But like, I'll knock her fucking teeth out. Yeah, I don't, I don't, know, I don't agree with hitting women, but I think he's allowed to hit her now. What a bitch! Oh, Put fuck. some makeup on your eye. Hold on. Show me what it looks like when it's closed. Yeah. Show me what the hell they did. Look out, Sue. You got your key, eh? Oh, it don't matter. So the cops just basically See, look. kicked the chair. And look, watch it. Videotape while I do this. That's what they did. Yeah, cocksuckers. I say, listen to this. Listen to this. Get some bunch of makeup. Black in your eyes the fuck and say Mike Summerson got you by it while you're walking on the road. We'll be able to tape your eyes and shit. Or, or, I can dress up like a big fucking cop and run over and billy bat you. With a fake billy bat, a plastic one. You follow him screaming for pain, then we'll put makeup on the video and take that. So it was Mike Summerson. $100,000 loss. Of it. See, like, do you think there's any beef with me and him? I don't, I like the fucking guy, but he's, it seems like his head is thicker than this fucking water heater. You know, and I'm sorry, Jay, you, when I get a little bit mad, my ADD kicks right in. That's what keeps it going, right? I get a little bit mad, Jay gets mad, right? But he gets mad and a little bit cocky, and I'm like, Ugh! When I get cocky with you, I'll go right off. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, motherfuckers, I'm just here to let you know why you motherfuckers are gonna respect my G, motherfucker, G, yeah. You motherfuckers can't see me, I'm like the ghost motherfucker, I just hear my dad, and if I want to, I'm creeping up on you niggas just like this. tonight? Yeah. What happened? Well, I was sitting in my pad, man, chilling, smoking some bud. Fuck them. Nerf blasted in. I said, fuck me. I was fucking, they arrested me there in the spot. Took me down to the central division. I said, listen, man, I ain't telling you shit. They ended up charging me with that shit of, about a man and shit, and I was like, fuck. And I said, yeah, you guys are going to free me or what? And they, get, and they said, yeah, we can't hold you. It was pretty fucked, man, when they came in, when me and all the boys were smoking some bud. They let me walk without remanding me to the Cape Breton Correctional Facility. So what's 
going to happen out of this? I'm feeding now. The charge of break and enter is dropped. Yeah, but I heard him. Someone said something. Due to sufficient, insufficient That's right, when evidence. That's when the cops come in and at the place. Uh, what happened? Well, first of all, how many of you were in there? Park boys, <laughs> There's me, Alex, uh, the nigga, Brett, uh, Tommy was there, and his girlfriend. And, and they what? walked in. <laughs> Tommy was holding me, shaking me, carrying on. <laughs> the cop busted in. Tom jumped back. Oh, can I leave? He left. What? You walked in the bedroom. <laughs> you stayed there. They're like. <laughs> then they came in. They're like, boy, smoking any weed? They're like, whose said, apartment's oh, no. this? Yeah. <laughs> this is Jason's. He's like, yeah. Uh, can we talk to you in here for a minute? Well, they, said that to, they said that to him? Yeah. I had to tell him what I said to him. And then he walked out and he's like, oh, can you, you come out here and talk to us? Do you, let's go, do you have a warrant? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, you want to get saucy, eh? He's like, come on out here. And he's talked to him. We were just sitting there. Like, uh, is he going to jail or what? And then he was just like, he didn't come back. We are like, what the hell? And then what happened? Like you guys just chilled for a little Someone bit and then left. Someone stole my fucking grandmother's bag and cleaned it. <laughs> what? Someone stole my fucking grandmother's bag and cleaned it. Oh. Brand new goddamn two thousand dollar fucking nigga. So you were there too? Yeah. That's just basically what happened. What he said. All right, thanks. What up, nigga? G. Go back on that way. You probably got what three, four. Did you just check my fucking yeah, pockets? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck? Because I know you're lying. Everybody's lying to me lately, guys. I mean, you got three or four. Two, actually. Yeah. That's, you couldn't say Tommy, I got two of them. Uh, I have a change. Can I have the change for you? Talk to that. Did you just roll? He's not smoking shit. Uh -huh. He got weed more than he gave me some pockets. What you fuck? What do you give me, man? Every time I come in here, you're trying to get something out of my fucking pockets. What are you talking about? Fuck off. What get off my fucking me? pockets is what I'm talking what about. about. I, didn't, I, I gotta grab weed, weed. I don't want to smoke weed. You're fucking good enough. What are you talking about? I never asked you for shit. I come in the door, you're checking my pockets. Fuck off and get off me, man. Look, man, fucking shit. It's the boys where I returned. Fuck. I asked you for a smoke. We're getting drunk tonight. <laughs> We're getting drunk tonight. Oh man, I'm getting some mad poon on tonight. We got some cash right here. I want a fucking bullet like that. Do you? What? What do you mean? Bug life. Do you got me? I'm just using the phone to fucking leave, right? That's all I'm doing. I'm just losing the phone to fuck. Don't flip. So I used the phone, left me. Gangsta shit. Fucking next day, fucking bitch calls the cops out of me and told her I broke her hips, man. Ah, fuck, I hate that. In the winter, I was just another number locked up. 
but now I'm free in CB Another summer, I'm up early sunshine So bright, red back up in the cake Yeah, the time is so right I can smell the steaks here cooking on the grill They say pump your brakes, but you wouldn't want to chill If you were me, two or three summers in the cage In a rage, gone crazy, couldn't wait to hit the stage Yeah, now I'm back in the CB I might see it, strolling down the road In my white white beater I kick back and think back to when I get trashed Up in the field, party shit smashed Now let's do it again, or we be missing out Doing a bunch of new shit to reminisce about To all my capers, believe we love ya And there ain't nothing like a CB summer